It's the day of the movie and this is how the color turned out like. I think it's a combination of me not using enough color in the tube and this color is probably too light for the level I bleach my hair to. I probably should have went with level 7 instead of level 8 but I'll have to fix the color another day. Today I'm going to try to French braid my hair. Elsa style. Obviously, my hair is too short to braid into one huge braid like Elsa. So I'm going to try to split it into two French braids. I hope it works out. I'm going to use a texturizing spray to make my hair less slippery. Okay, this is not too bad. I have both the Modern Renaissance and the Wet and Wild dupe, and I use this dupe way more. I don't think I'm into the formula of these eyeshadows. They're so hard to blend. This is much easier to blend and the pigmentation is buildable. Hello guys, so it's been about two weeks. I just want to summarize exactly what happened, what went wrong, and maybe there's something we can learn from this whole experience. So hair dye wise, I think I did a pretty good job bleaching this time. The only problem was the tube of hair color I used, it was meant for level 8 hair. And I think Usually after bleaching twice, my hair only gets up to level 6 or 7. So when I used the level 8 ash blonde dye, my hair wasn't light enough. So it basically didn't take the color. And that's why my hair ended up being so brassy. As you can tell, when I used my usual level 7 gray dye, my hair turned out fine. It took the color and this is what it's looking like after about two weeks. Secondly, haircut-wise, what happened was basically I finished cutting the length of my hair 
and then thin out the top layers to make it look more fluffy. But then I made the mistake of cutting an extra under layer. By then, the top of my hair was already too short and too thin for the length I would want. So the lesson here is basically don't use a hair color that's too light. For me, I'll know to only use level 7 or lower from now on. And also to finish the undercut before cutting the length of your hair. Don't touch the undercut after you're done cutting the length of your hair. But for now, before my hair grows longer, I've been salvaging my hairstyle with things like hairpins and hats. Alright, talk to you guys next time.